Let's talk calc dosing. First, I want to thank you for stopping by. There are a whole lot of cool reef-related YouTubers out there that are producing awesome content, and it's nice of you to take a look at what I have to offer. Today, we're talking about calc. Calc is calcium hydroxide that you mix at a concentration of two teaspoons per gallon of roti. I mix mine up in like a five gallon jug, shake it up and store it, and that's what I use to refill the container underneath my tank uh, next to the sump. The easiest way to dose calc is to use a simple pump. Uh, I use a Tom's Aqua Lifter or the Bulk Reef Supply 1.1 ml peristaltic. Uh, benefits to both. This one's really inexpensive and uh, it's just as easy to set up as the bulk resupply, so it comes down to price. Uh, this one doses faster, so you don't have to run it as long. This one is slower. Uh, benefit is if you screw up, if you mess up your timer, uh, then you won't be dosing uh, as much calc into the tank, so there's a little safety factor when using the slower 1.1 ml pump. Uh, also, it doesn't siphon. If you're using the Toms, make sure the pump is higher than the container that's holding your calc. That way you won't siphon from the calc container into the sump or the tank or whatever. Um, something also to consider is don't mix calc in your ATO. I know it's recommended by a lot of people, but if you live in a place that has seasons, uh, your evaporative rate summer versus winter is completely different. So you'll be dosing a whole lot more calc in the winter than you will in the summer, and it'll just throw off the tank. You're chasing stability, so it's best to just mix calc up or keep calc in a separate container from your auto top off, your ATO. That way it can be dosed individually and you'll have better control. Regarding control, you want to use a timer. I use this Nearpal. Um, it is a fantastic little interval timer. It can control seconds, minutes, and hours. So I can tell it to dose for literally five seconds and then stay off for a minute or five seconds and stay off for an hour. And it does a really good job of dosing when I tell the calc to dose. It hasn't failed on me. It's awesome. Uh, lastly, test. This is a Hanna alkalinity tester. I really love this thing. Uh, accurate for my needs. But to understand your dosing requirements, you need to check your alkalinity on day one, check your alkalinity on day two, and then see what your 24 hour drop is. If it's 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 or higher DKH, probably a good time to start dosing calc. And you wanna do so in a way that's slow, methodical, and slowly raises you to the alkalinity that you're chasing. You don't wanna jump in and, and do it too quickly because you can, you can really mess up your tank. So take your time. I'm gonna link a calculator below. It, it, you, you put in your, your, your starting DKH, your desired DKH, and your water volume, and it'll tell you how much, do, how much to dose in a 24 hour period. Uh, don't dose that all at once. What I'd suggest is use the timer and you dose on the hour, every hour, throughout the day to spread that dose out and keep everything nice and even. Uh, so back to testing, you've tested your alkalinity, you've tested your alkalinity the next day, you understand your drop, you've used the calculator, and you have uh, set your timer to dose that alkalinity throughout the day, test the next day, test 12 hours later. Make sure that you're not overdosing the tank with calc. So remember, calcium hydroxide is calc, you mix that up in water, that's calcwasa. Um, it's nothing more than lime water, and it doses alkalinity and calcium in equal portions. So your tank gets exactly what it needs if you are in need of dosing. I think that's it. So I'm Jim, Telegram on Instagram. Hit me up if you have any questions, comment below. I will do my very best to help. Take care. Oh, this needs to be a one-shot wonder. First off, I, mm, you look at the camera.